the Vendemia Festival in Lesa. That was, uh, I remember it was a beautiful day, first of all. Every year, the Rioja Alavesa picks one village in the Alavesa to celebrate this festival. And kids dress up in traditional Basque garb. And there's just a, a traditional stomping of the grapes and lots of glasses are clinked and sausages grilled and children you know, screaming and running around. It's pretty, uh, it's intense. I mean, it's, it's, there's, it was crowded. It was very, very, uh, it was, it was, there was definitely bustle there, but it was beautiful. It was, you got a real sense of, of the, the, the richness, the, the richness of the tradition and how, just how far back this land goes in the world of wine. <laughs> If you talk to enough Riojanos, you can't help but notice. People seem genuinely content with life here. Many who leave eventually find their way back. Those who work in wine seem to view their livelihood as a stroke of good fortune. For Pedro Vivanco, a third generation vintner who has prospered in Rioja, the wine industry has been so rewarding that he felt compelled to give something back. The museum of wine culture he established at his winery, Dinastia Vivanco, in Briones is a love letter to Rioja and the world of wine. In it, Vivanco and his sons display their impressive collection of corkscrews, wine books, antique farming tools and wine vessels, part of a stunning new winemaking complex and restaurant. It was the idea by my father, no, my father's idea, and it was uh, a deep idea, feeling, is, I mean, because he was enjoying so much working with wine and with people related to wine. He started to discover uh, what existed uh, around the world with the uh, trips, with uh, the association of enologues in here in, in Rioja. And so he said, uh, I'm so grateful to wine, I have to give back to it as much as I can. In Rioja we live for and for the wine. Eh, todos, independientemente de la, las personas, las gentes que no están eh, involucradas en el, en el negocio propiamente dicho. Y como hemos comentado en el transcurso de la entrevista, el vino tiene estas condiciones, esta calidad, porque se los da también el entorno, la gente, la cultura, nuestra tradición y por supuesto nuestra gastronomía. Por eso lo vivimos con tanta pasión, porque vivimos por y para el vino. ¿Cómo no se puede estar contento habiendo nacido en La Rioja, dedicándome al vino, estando entre viñedos? Eh, realmente es una suerte en la vida. ¿eh? Es, es algo que si no estás contento, eh, algo raro te pasa. ¿no? Eh, realmente es, un, es una región fascinante en la que vivir es fácil. Y esto es muy importante. Hay, pequeños detalles en la viña de cada día que te hacen sonreír.